No matter how you look at it, quarantine is definitely a deal breaker when it comes to traveling. What's the point of traveling to an exotic location if you're just going to be cooped up inside a hotel room for days, even weeks on end? Might as well stay home, right? Sadly, in light of current events, most countries and destinations worldwide that have opened their borders to foreign visitors are still imposing on arrival quarantines. These quarantines may last anywhere from 7 to 21 days depending on which country you're visiting. But there are countries adopting a different approach, in the sense that no arrival quarantine measures are in place for visitors, provided that they have been tested negative for COVID-19, among other requirements. The following is a list of quarantine-free countries. Asia Most of the Asian countries are still under strict lockdown and international flights are barred from entering their borders. Although they have been slightly encouraging news on Bali reopening, the island's provincial government has stated that their efforts to flatten the curve would still take precedence over tourism revival. The following Asian countries are currently open or rescheduled to reopen while not having quarantine measures put in place upon arrival. Cambodia Travelers may travel and gain entry to Cambodia without being subjected to quarantine under the following conditions. Travelers provide a negative PCR test, results issued within 72 hours prior to arrival. On arrival, travelers will be retested and should all passengers on the same flight test negative. No quarantine period will be necessary. It is worth noting that all arrivals must provide 3,000 USD deposit to cover all COVID-19 related tests, possible quarantine and even funeral services. The Maldives The Maldives is set to reopen to tourists and vacationers on July 15. Upon arrival, inbound travelers will be guaranteed a 30-day tourist visa and be exempted from having to self-isolate. Travelers will be expected to fill out a health declaration card and wear masks all the times for the duration of the flight. While a negative PCR test would not be necessary, travelers showing symptoms of the infection would be immediately tested at their own expense. Sri Lanka Sri Lanka is planning to resume its tourism industry on August 1st without quarantine measures for worldwide tourists. It will, however, enforce other stringent measures, such as on arrival PCR test, enforce hygiene and social distancing protocols. Furthermore, tourists may stay at government-approved accommodations and will be barred from using public transportation. A minimum 5-day stay is also mandatory. United Arab Emirates In the case of Dubai reopening, foreign travelers will be able to visit the city starting on July 7th. No quarantine will be imposed on arrivals should they are able to meet the necessary requirements. Among others, all arrivals must have a valid insurance policy and fill out a health declaration form prior to embarking. Health screening will also be performed on all passengers, with mandatory quarantine imposed should they all tested positive for COVID-19. Africa Africa's tourism giants, namely Morocco and South Africa, are currently bearing inbound international flights. However, South Africa does have a projected reopening schedule come the year of 2021. Tanzania Tanzania has resumed international flights and is poised to welcome travels from around the world. No quarantine measures are in effect, but travels will be subjected to enhanced screening both upon arrival and departure. Tunisia Tunisia has announced that the country will recommence tourism starting on June 27. The country will adopt a color-coded system to determine which country's travelers may gain admittance. Travelers hailing from countries classified as green will be considered low risk and may move freely within the country without any restrictions. Countries classified as orange may face quarantine and will be confined to their hotels as closed circuit trips. North America Among all the countries making up North America, Mexico is currently the only one open to international tourism. Travelers can fly to Mexico and visit select beaches, including the one in Los Cabos, with no mandatory quarantine period upon arrival. Those who exhibit symptoms are simply encouraged to self-isolate for 14 days. Europe With travel bubbles being pioneered in some locations, Europe is set to gradually open itself to travelers once again. But there are complicated border-related issues that may impede movements even between European Union countries. 
Before we continue with this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share. Austria Austria has been welcoming travelers from all European Union countries, with the exception of the United Kingdom, Sweden, Spain, and Portugal. Travelers originating from other European countries will be able to gain entry into Austria and not be subjected to quarantine. They also will be exempted from having to produce medical certificates of any kind. Belgium Belgium is open for travelers hailing from European Union countries without having to undergo quarantine. Those coming from non-Schengen area, however, must self-isolate for a total of 14 days. Denmark Denmark has deemed anyone visiting the country to remain in self-isolation for 14 days, but travelers coming from Germany, Norway or Iceland are exempt from having to self-isolate. Estonia Inbound travelers are subjected to an arrival quarantine only if they are heading from countries with 15 to 25 cases per 100,000 people within the last 14 days. Germany Travelers inbound to Germany from outside the European Union are subjected to a 14-day quarantine. Exempted are travelers traveling to Germany from European Union as well as Ireland, Liechtenstein, Norway, Switzerland and the United Kingdom. Hungary Generally, all travelers to Hungary are subjected to 14-day quarantine. However, Slovenian and Serbian citizens are exempted from this rule, so long as they are traveling from Austria, Czech Republic, Croatia, Slovenia and Serbia. Iceland Starting from June 15th, all travelers gaining entry to Iceland may choose between a 14-day self-quarantine or a COVID-19 test. Exceptions to both testing and quarantine are children born in 2005 or later. Italy Starting from June 3rd, travelers traveling to Italy from European Union countries, the UK and Schengen countries will no longer be subjected to quarantine measures. Exceptions being those who have been in other countries within the last 14 days prior to arriving in Italy. Latvia Travelers arriving from countries deemed coronavirus safe are not subjected to quarantine. Luxembourg Simply put, Luxembourg borders are open. People are encouraged to seek help if they believe they are at risk of contracting the infection. Montenegro Travelers coming from Albania, Austria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, Greece, Croatia, Ireland, Iceland, Cyprus, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Hungary, Malta, Monaco, Germany, Norway, Slovakia, Slovenia, Switzerland, and part of Serbia, Kosovo, will not be subjected to quarantine. The Netherlands The Netherlands encourage travelers traveling from high-risk countries to self-quarantine for 14 days. Should a traveler is arriving from location deemed high-risk, they will be subjected to a 14-day quarantine period. Poland Citizens of European Union are exempted from having to undergo quarantine upon arrival. Travelers hailing from outside of European Union, a self-isolation period is mandatory. Portugal Partial quarantine is in effect in Portugal, namely in the islands of Arizona and Madeira, but if travelers have a negative test result or willing to be tested on site, quarantine is not obligated, at least until the test results have been known. Slovakia if a traveler had spent 14 days in the countries within the approved list, no on arrival quarantine will be necessary. These countries are as follows Austria, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Liechtenstein, Poland, Switzerland, Slovenia, Cyprus, Malta, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Finland, Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Monaco, Montenegro, and the Faroe Islands. Switzerland no quarantine measures are in place for people arriving in Switzerland, so long as they are free from the infection. United Kingdom The United Kingdom recently published a list of countries exempt from quarantine upon arrival to England, set to go into effect starting 10th July. The list contains 59 destinations, including France, Germany, Greece, Turkey, Japan, among others. Visitors to England from these countries will not have to self-isolate for 14 days. This is end of our video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share. Also, for more interesting videos, subscribe. Thank you.